In the 1940s, it was Walt Disney's unrelenting curiosity and love for adventure that led him to Alaska. Referring to it as one of the last remaining wildernesses, Walt loved observing the state up close, where he could personally interact with the animals and the environment. And on a Disney cruise ship, passengers get that same opportunity. From the ship's upper deck, there's an abundance of wildlife to see. Passengers on this ship have opportunity to see spectacular, pristine wilderness and lots of wild animals. We see bear, both species, brown and black bear. We see bald eagles. We see whales and porpoises and dolphins and birds in abundance. And I think that's part of what sets Alaska apart from the rest of the United States. A trip to Alaska would not be complete without visiting the beautiful state capital of Juneau, the second largest city in the United States by area. It is especially unique since due to extremely rugged terrain surrounding the city, it can only be reached by boat or plane. For passengers of the Disney Wonder, Juneau offers a variety of things to do. This mining and fishing town hasn't lost any of its charm with its unique shopping and dining. And there are even more active adventures right outside town. What I love most about the Alaska itinerary is that one, it offers something for everyone. You have something for those folks that really want to be really outdoorsy, so you can go on hikes. If you like to fish, you can go salmon fishing. Juno even offers guests a chance to kayak these pristine waters, maybe even spot orcas and other marine life. The most popular family attraction in Juneau is participating in their official state sport of dog mushing. You get out there with about 17 different Alaskan Huskies and you're just going for it, man, and it is awesome. Before leaving Juneau, the truly adventurous can hop on a small plane and visit the historic Taku Glacier Lodge. And on that flight, you'll fly over five different glaciers and then you come and land on the Taku River here itself and pull right up to the dock in front of Taku Lodge. Originally built in the 1920s, this gorgeous location gives you a front row seat to one spectacular glacier. We're standing across from the hole in the wall glacier here. It's a pretty big piece to have Gracie in our front yard. And for Disney Wonder guests, they also cook up an authentic Alaskan meal. We do a king salmon feast. We're able to get our fish right out of the Taku River. It's wild, fresh Taku River King Salmon. It doesn't get any better than that. All of our guests just love being up there, and it's, it's, it's just a little, little piece of heaven. The final port of call takes guests to the beautiful city of Ketchikan. Ketchikan, the first city here in southeast Alaska. It's a wonderful town. The folks here are amazing. Love being here in the summertime. It comes alive. Nestled along Alaska's southeastern coast, Ketchikan's glacier-carved wilderness has captivated guests of all ages for decades. Take in an interactive lumberjack show or zip line through the forest over scenic nearby Douglas Island. It's so awesome, I love it. Ketchikan is also known for its many Native American totem poles. Passengers of the Disney Wonder are invited to learn the art of carving and painting a totem pole. And a visit to Ketchikan is not complete until stepping aboard the Aleutian Ballad, a boat made famous in Discovery Channel's deadliest catch. That's right, folks, we're going fishing. Woo! We share kind of the deadliest catch version of crab fishing in Alaska a little bit with folks, and then we head up into the bay, and then we'll haul up snow crab pots. You're gonna see crabs up close and personal, fish, octopus, all kinds of different stuff. You see the deadliest catch, we watched it for years, and now being here, it's been, it's, it's been amazing. Also for our Disney guests, after the three-hour tour, we feed them Alaska king crab. It's a wonderful meal, a little more intimate and personal with them on board. And that's a Disney exclusive on board the Wonder here in Ketchikan, Alaska. This is awesome. <laughs> With the last port visited, passengers have two days of sailing to enjoy more of what this grand ship has to offer. My favorite onboard activities would have to be our world-class Broadway-style production shows in the Walt Disney Theater. There's no shortage of family entertainment on the Disney Wonder. 
with two nightly showings, the Disney Wonders state-of-the-art Walt Disney Theater premieres 100% original Disney productions. And for an interactive experience, one of the most popular activities is the Frozen-themed deck party. Giving guests the opportunity to meet their favorite Frozen characters on board the ship with ice caps in the background. We tell stories wherever we go. We want guests to come back and basically say to us, I can't believe what I've just experienced because we want that memory to last their lifetime. After returning back to Vancouver, the Disney Wonder sets its sights on the sunny destinations of the Bahamas and the Caribbean. From Mexico to Europe to the California coast, Disney Cruise Line now offers its guests a variety of experiences and cultural connections all over the globe. Coming up, in Wyoming, Adventures by Disney shows guests the unspoiled wilderness of the great American frontier and transports them back in time.